Now welcome to your beautiful home. Hi, this is Jake Bautista, and I'd like to welcome you to a brand new Metro Guide Realty House Tour. Now, before we begin, for the best quality homes in Metro Manila, don't forget to follow us on Instagram, Facebook, and subscribe to us on YouTube. Now, today we are going to be showing you a beautiful and well-planned five-bedroom house and lot for sale located very near Commonwealth Avenue, Quezon City. So, in terms of the size, this property has a lot area of about 338 square meters and a floor area of 500 square meters across two levels. It has a modern facade and there's so much more to explore inside. Now let's go. Coming into the house, you have a pocket garden on your left side. So you have a nice patch of greenery here. And on your right side, you have a covered garage space. Let me just slide this. So this is completely covered and this can easily fit four vehicles. This is fantastic if you really value privacy for your vehicles, especially if you have luxury vehicles and you really don't want them exposed a lot to the elements. This has a remote controlled entrance. So this rolls up. So it's a Rainer branded roll up entrance for your parking area. And on this side, you already have the staff quarters which we will explore later. But for now, let's head on in towards the main entry. Now, welcome to your beautiful home. Looking at this house, you're immediately welcomed by an open layout. You see that the living and dining spaces is one continuous space. And the first thing that I noticed when I came in here is how bright it is because of the mostly white motif throughout the entire space. But there's a really nice contrast because of the stone tile design for the pillars throughout the space. So this isn't really a tile brick this uh this is a tile design so this isn't specific uh bricks here but it has that stone feel and it really blends well with the white wall okay now i'd like to also point out very quickly the high ceiling here coming into the house the front of the house is facing the east that's why you have these massive windows at the front of the house so you have all that natural light flooding into your living and dining spaces. You have a cove light here and you have the option of having a large light fixture but that's a personalization feature already. It's up to you especially if you're getting an interior designer for this home. Now as I walk through here, let's explore the size. This is a nice touch having a light here. You can have an artwork. Having these blank spaces are excellent if you're an art collector and you 
want to have something that will give more personality to the space. And on this side, this is where you have your dining area. In terms of size, this can easily fit a table for about six or even eight people and it has its own cove lighting here. Of course, this light is just temporary. You can replace this with whatever light fixture you'd like that can complement the design that you're looking for, especially if you wanted to complement your furniture. Okay? Now from here, let's explore your main kitchen space. Let's go. Wow. So the kitchen space has a design that complements the rest of the house also. You have a dark brown wooden design. This is a nice touch having these window panes for all the cabinetry and you have plenty of space here for additional pantry storage. Uh, another intelligent design feature is the already built in the kitchen branded uh, oven and microwave already to the cabinetry and on this side you have an LG branded refrigerator but once you come in here the third the thing that I notice is there's so much space to navigate it's very uh, open there's even space for some stools all, ar all around and they have a kitchen branded hood here so this raises up instead of having the usual hood that is connected to the ceiling so this is this is what will serve as the exhaust and then you have this induction stove here okay now looking through here what you feel predominantly at the space is it's an excellent al fresco dining area once you open this sliding door because it leads towards a refreshing and relaxing swimming pool area open this up welcome to the pool space this is one of my favorite parts of the house because they maximize this entire space this can be could have been just a backyard with grass, but this is an entirely different feel. Having the mix of a stone tiled wall here with three small waterfalls, and that will have lighting in the evening also with that plant design over there. And then having these three small trees here. This is an excellent recreational space for your family. You can have tables, and chairs over here potentially in the future you can cover even half of the pool so that you can make this partially covered just an just an, an just an idea and on this side you have your first room so we're going to explore it through this side So this serves as your den space. So this den area can be maximized as a bedroom also if you'd like because you can just have curtains. But right now as it is, if you pull back, you see that this is an excellent relaxation space. Imagine having a large television set over here and then a living room set. You can entertain guests here and family. And on this side, you have access towards the side of the house and a small shower area. Okay, now heading back. From this swimming pool area, you have access here towards your auxiliary kitchen space. So let's explore it quickly. 
there. So you have your clean kitchen and then you have your auxiliary kitchen here. Also, nice styling and it blends well with the cabinetry. You have a sink space. This can serve as your laundry area. That's why you already have drainage on this side. Going here, you have a shared bathroom for the maids and driver's quarters. So let's go around here. So you see, the layout is very easy to understand, very simple. You can walk around the entire house. And here you have your quarters again. So just a quick look so you see the size. The house just finished construction. That's why you still have some materials there. And then here's another room. So they have a shared bathroom. So there. Both have large windows and it's quite cool because it's inside the garage space. Okay, let's head back in. You have a acrylic roofing here, a polycarbonate roofing so that you have light coming into the space. Now this door is your access door leading towards your kitchen space. There, okay. Well thought out, very spacious, very relaxing. From the main kitchen space, we're now back here in the open dining and living space. Let's take a look at this door which leads towards our powder room. The tiling looks very modern and once again, it's a great contrast to the all-white living space. You have a tempered glass shower enclosure already, a full bath space. This means if you want to convert your dense space into a bedroom, this can serve as that bathroom already for that room. So, just to complete the orientation, this is the access towards the dense space that we took a look at earlier. Okay? Okay, so now, after we've taken a look at the living, space, the dining space, the kitchen, the swimming pool area, the auxiliary space, and the parking area. Let's now head on upstairs where we have four bedrooms. I love this entire space because you still have a lot of privacy even ha though you have these massive windows. Sometimes you give up the privacy because of the windows, but here you can't be seen directly into the house, but you still have all that light. Head on up. Natural wood heading up. Welcome to the second level, and we begin right away with the first room here, which is your primary bedroom. This is a unique master bedroom and has a lot of character because of this accent wall. So this is a tiled brick design and there are plenty of potential interior design ideas that can complement this quite well. It's spacious enough to have a large bed, even a king-sized bed with space over for additional storage. And this wall is where you can have your television set. This is your provision for a split-type air conditioning unit on the other side. And here you have your master walk-in closet and bath space. Okay, the first thing that I notice is the size. I also love the design in terms of the color and having these windows for the cabinetry because this is where you can have your bags, a nice display area also for your personal belongings and additional storage even here on the sides. You have these pendant lights and even a window also to give you more natural lighting. This is a lot of space so you don't have to worry anymore about 
storing your clothes here. And on this other side, you have your bath space. So on this side, you have a shower enclosure and your water closet space. And on the other side, you have a jacuzzi bathtub. You have those jets here. What I love is it's a corner bathtub. It's an alcove bathtub. And the gold tile design gives you a very elegant feel and blends well even with the pendant lights in the walk-in closet space. You have a dual vanity sink area over a floating counter and a large mirror here. So very easy to navigate. Doesn't feel cramped in any way. Feels very open. And from your mean bath, space, and walk-in closet. Let's now explore the other rooms. Let's go. So if we include the dense space as a uh, bedroom, the master bedroom as the second bedroom, this would be the third room. This is a room that maximizes the morning light. That's why this entire wall is almost completely made out of the sliding glass door. Now, this is spacious enough to serve as a junior master suite if you have multiple households, like you have a son or daughter who has already a child or children. This is spacious enough already. And at the same time, here's a great surprise. You have a massive balcony that has a lot of space and a lot of possibilities. Let's take a look. Here you have your front balcony, spacious enough to have a table, couple of chairs, very relaxing in the evenings, tempered glass railings. You even have a view of your front pocket garden. And the surprise that I was mentioning before is this balcony extension. I'm just going to walk over there quickly. So you see the space. This is excellent if you like to have a lot of plants to decorate this entire side. And you also have a faucet already here. Now let's head on in. Now this room also has its own bathroom and built-in cabinetry. In terms of the aircon, they have a provision here for a window type air conditioning unit. But if you prefer a split type air conditioning unit, we can also have that arranged. So here's the bath space. Every bathroom in this house has a different tile design, different color scheme so that each room has its own personality. There's already built an exhaust here and a tempered glass shower enclosure. Okay. And now let's take a look at the next two rooms. Okay, so you have this hallway here. So one entire side of the second level is your master bedroom, while the three rooms share the other side. This is the fourth room. You see, it's the middle room. It's between the third and fifth rooms, but it's still quite spacious, very well lit because of this window. When you slide this open, you have a view of your side balcony. That's why I said it's excellent to have some plants or flowers designing this side. And then you have this entire row of cabinetry also. There. And then, a solo bathroom again. Once again, floor to ceiling tiling, floating counter design for the sink space. This is an additional light feature so that there's additional lighting for the entire hallway space.
And now you have your fifth room. So this is a corner room and it has a fantastic view also of your swimming pool area. Let's take a quick look. You can hear the sound of the waterfall feature. And there's plenty of greenery at the back of the house also. So it's a very relaxing view. And it has its own bathroom once again. If you're looking for space, fresh air, and a relaxing environment, this house is for you. If you want to know more about it or visit it in person, just click the description below where you can get in touch with us through our email and number shown there. You can also send us a message and follow us on Instagram and Facebook. And for the best quality properties in Metro Manila, just click that like button and that subscribe button so that you can get notified of our future videos. If you have a property that you'd like to have featured on our channel, just send us an email at metroguiderealty at gmail.com. Once again, my name is Jake Bautista. Thank you for watching and we look forward to bring you clarity, quality, and convenience in finding a great Metro Manila home for you and your family. Contact us today in the email and number shown here to schedule a property viewing. You can also click the description below for the property details. Don't forget to click that subscribe button so that you can get notified of our future videos. Thanks for watching and we look forward to bringing you and your family a great Metro Manila home.